On, on this vote, the yeas are 49, the nays are 51. The motion is not agreed to. Madam President. The Republican leader is recognized. The Senate just swore an oath to do impartial justice according to the Constitution and the laws of our country. We swore to discharge a duty that is quite different from our normal work. As a court of impeachment, we're called not to speak, not to debate, but to listen, both to the case against the accused and to his defense. At this point, in any trial in the country, <clears throat> the prosecution presents the evidence of the case, counsel for the defense does the same, and the jury remains silent as it listens. This is what our rules require of us as well. But the Senate has not had the opportunity to perform this duty. The Senate will not hear the House managers present the details of their case against Secretary Mayorkas, that he willingly neglected the duties of his office and that he lied to Congress about the extent of that failure. Likewise, we will not hear the Secretary's representatives present the vigorous defense to which he is entitled. Our colleagues know that we are obligated to take these proceedings seriously. This is what our oath prescribes. It's what the history and precedent require. And I would urge each of our colleagues to consider that this is what the framers actually envisioned. The power of impeachment is one of the most delicate balances our constitutional system strikes with a portion of the American people's sovereign electoral authority. It purchases a safeguard against malpractice, and it gives the Senate the power and the duty to decide. This process must not be abused. It must not be short-circuited. History will not judge this moment well. Therefore, I move to table the point of order and ask for the yeas and nays. Is there a sufficient second? There is. there is a sufficient second. The clerk will call the roll.